Thank you very much for signing up to my course about wine. So we will now begin with a short introduction before tackling the five main sections I've talked to you about. So first, what is wine? Well, according to European laws, wine is an alcoholic drink made from fermented grape juice only. This definition prohibits the use of the word wine for any other fermented beverages derived from other fruits. For instance, if you have an alcoholic drink made from apple juice, it may apply to the definition of cider, but certainly not the one of wine. Additionally, to be called wine, the beverage must have a minimum alcohol content of 8.5%. There are more than 600 different components in wine. Chemists have yet to discover all of them. The main components are as follow. So, this is a brief overview. Do not worry. As we go through the course, we will go more into details. Water. Water accounts for about 80 to 90% of the wine. A wine with 12% alcohol content is made of about 88% of water. Then comes uh, the alcohols with an S, because there are many different alcohols. We'll focus mainly on the ethanol one, which is the main one. Ethanol is the product of fermentation of the natural grape sugars by yeast. Yeast eats sugar, and that makes alcohol. The amount of sugar in the grapes determines what the final alcohol level will be. In cool climates, grapes are not ripe enough, so sugar levels will be minimal, so yeast have a little amount of sugar to consume. Therefore, the wine alcohol level reaches about 8%, which is barely the legal standard. As opposed to warm climates, there are enough sugar for the yeast to consume, so alcohol level reaches about 14%. We have also acids, so acids from the grape, like the acid, uh, the tartaric, the malic, the citric, but also acids as a result of the fermentation, the lactic, succinic, and acetic. Uh, in wine testing, we use the term acid sulfuric to refer to all of them, all of the acids. Um, acids are very important because they are high and low acid wines, depending on their geographical location. This can really lift the flavors in the wine. We will discuss that in further in further lesson. Uh, sugar, wine always have some sugar that the yeast could not transform into alcohol for different reasons that we will discuss as well. Uh, these are the residual sugar. A wine that we qualify, qualify as dry during a tasting usually has less than two grams per liter of sugar, whereas it is more than 40 grams per liter for sweet wines. The polyphenol contained in the grape skin, uh, it plays a major role in determining the character of a wine, especially red wines. Uh, it can be color pigment or even the tannin, which is what gives the astringent taste, a sensation very similar to what happens on drinking stewed tea. The tannins give structure and backbone to the wine. We will talk a lot about the tannins throughout this course. There are also dissolved gas, mineral salts, potassium, calcium, even vitamins, especially vitamin P. Um, again, this is a brief overview. Do not worry. As we go through the course, we'll go more into details. Do not forget to download my notes or to ask in-depth questions. And uh, I look forward to see you in the next lesson.